Today we're going to be uh, learning a little bit about how to replace piano key tops. I've got this key, key uh, piano key here from a grand piano and I'm going to be replacing the key top with a new uh, molded piano key top with attached front. First one thing you want to do is remove the old key top. Uh, sometimes it's easier than other times but if you take a sharp knife like this and uh, just get under the edge of it it pops right off. They don't always pop off that easily but uh, um, sometimes it easier than others. Now this one when they put the new the key tops on before they left the old front so I'm going to take the old front off um, and this can be done either with a knife or with a, a chisel there we go okay and then once you've got the old key top off you want to make sure the the surface the front and the and the uh, top is smooth so I take a, a sanding block and I'm just going to sand the surface it removes all the old old glue Making, and you want to make sure everything is flat and smooth for the new uh, key top to go on. Okay, I'll get the front here, so that's... Okay, and I check it for smoothness and get all the dust off. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my new key top to fit. Now I've gotten the, the one that uh, fits for this particular key. Now when you line up the, the key top, you want to make sure that uh, the head um, is even on the sides, okay, from the side to side. Now, the notch, usually it's a little oversized, so this is going to have a little bit of overhang, and if you can, you want to have the overhang on the inside of the notch, where the, sh where the sharp goes, because that you're going to file off later on. It's a little harder to file the outside, so I usually try to li first line up the head and the front, making sure that's good uh, for a dry fit first, just to double check that before I put the glue on. Okay, once you've done that, then we take... Um, PVC glue, that's what I use, it's a, the best, I find it to be the best uh, adhesive for uh, gluing on key tops. And what I'm going to do is put a thin bead of glue along the along the front of the, uh, along the top of the key top and put a little thicker bead there on on the head part. And this is going to, it takes a really thin layer of glue. If you put too much glue on it, um, you get uh, too much oozing out and then it's kind of a messy. So you do that and I take a little bit of the excess and I spread it on the, on the front here. Okay, and just make sure it's covering the entire surface of the, of the key. And then once the glue is on, take the new key top, put it in place, kind of position it like we fit when we, when we did the dry fit. And then you want to put pressure on it so that front gets, gets pushed up against there too. And then put uh, pressure on. surface. It doesn't take a lot of clamping, but um, PVC works pretty quick here. So, and then once you've got it on, somewhat fit, you want to double check the, uh, and then if there is any oozing out of glue, you can just wipe it off. If you don't use too much glue, you have minimal uh, ooze out. And then I'm just going to wipe off the excess glue residue. If you don't do it right away it's a little harder to get the the excess glue residue off later on. So I try to do that right away and then I double again double check the fit. Make sure it's on there nice and even on the sides of the head and the front 
and then that extra got a little bit of extra key top. This one's not too bad. Some some you get a little more overhang than others, but it just means you got to do a little more filing later on. Okay, so once you've got that on, then um, you let that set for you know best to be leave it set overnight. I'm going to take one of the other key tops and that I've already done. And uh, this one needs a little bit of filing, so this one I've, I've let dry overnight. And um, so I'm going to take my metal file here. It's uh, what I've done to this one. It's a uh, it's a file, and I've uh, ground off the the file edge of this, so that when I go up against um, the key top, if I'm doing like the the notch here, which is the first part that you do, uh, the front front part of that notch is you have that ground off part up against the key top so you don't uh, take off too much and then you just file that until it's even with the wood I've already done most of this one but uh, you just file that so it's even with the wood and then and then carefully file this side edge of the key top like this until it's pretty much flush with the, with the side of the wood. Um, you want to be, make sure that you're careful not to scratch the, the key top. Okay, and then once you've done that, it should be ready to put in the piano and um, we'll go from there.